Hello, hello, and welcome to day five of these lessons um, by the world's leading experts on confinement and specifically on how to thrive in that confinement. Because uh, admittedly, yes, there are a fair number of people in prison that are still stuck in their destructive lifestyles, but there's also a very high number of them that have made the very courageous choice to step away from those destructive lifestyles and into doing the hard and deep work to become the law-abiding citizens that they wish to be and the neighbors that we wish for. And these are the people I have the privilege of engaging with on such a regular basis. And so through our programs, uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, we create spaces in which the prison residents, among other things, can organize uh, TEDx and other events for people from the outside to come into prison and actually be able to have the opportunity to learn from these prison residents. And uh, organizing, anyone who's done so, organizing such a complex event with a team of 25 prison residents and the volunteers around them, uh, can, it can lead to conversations that can get, let's be honest, a little heated. And, uh, and, and it's really fun to me to observe uh, our team move through that when, they, when it does happen. Because typically, you know, two or more, but let's say right now two people can get into a heated argument thinking that their position is the right one to, uh, to follow through on in the decision. And when that happens, it's always the fellow prison residents that step in, create, if you will, a timeout and invite everyone to take a deep breath. And when they do so, what happens just naturally is that all those emotions that were starting to boil start coming back down. And the people that were starting to get narrow focused on their view of the world, that widens up again to open up the possibilities of other realities, of other outcomes. And that is what is so much fun to watch. Because I really, from my own experience as well, find that taking a breath is the fastest way to be able to separate out the realities that we're creating from the deeper truths of what's actually going on. And yet, the act of taking a breath, a conscious breath, is so simple that we often don't trust its power and therefore we dismiss it. We think that solutions always have to be more complicated than such a simple truth as taking a breath. And I invite you to take any moment, even right now, right now from wherever you're at, take a moment to feel what might be going on, the, the urgency of, of you know, cooking dinner, of preparing the kids, of, of doing the work, of whatever might be going on, and take a breath. And now step in and feel what you're feeling. And it's quite likely that you feel just a hair more settled. And if you take a few more breaths, you might feel even more a hair more settled. And to me, this is such a powerful tool that I don't only use it when things get heated. I use it just throughout the entire day. Anyone who knows me knows my breathing bell. On my phone, I have an app, which by the way, is called the Mind Jogger app. And um, installed it years, over a decade ago. And for the past decade, about 15 to 20 times a day, uh, my phone at random times will chime. And that is my reminder to take a breath, to just check in and see where I'm at and what things are going on. But it can be as simple as just taking a breath. And so use those kinds of techniques to also um, Take a breath when things start getting agitated. It can also be to take a breath when you start any new activity. Release what you've just been working on and create a new space for you to step in and doing what you're about to start. It actually comes really closely aligned with yesterday's tip of celebration. Ending a certain activity, something as simple as feeding the kids and celebrating in a, you know, even the smallest of ways of like, yes, that's done, and taking a breath to release everything of what just happened and stepping into this new space of 
I'm going to say reading a book and step into some calmness. So I, it's a tactic I use on um, continuously throughout the day. And as we go through these tumultuous times, when anxieties are high, when stress levels are high, where it can be like us, where we learned just a few days ago that a family member is sick with COVID and anxieties just explode, slow down and take a breath. Because from that place, things will feel clear. Do not be fooled by the simplicity of this tool. And go enjoy your day breathing throughout, find a way to remind yourself on a regular basis uh, to take that breath and enjoy the, you know, the, the, how do you say the, what you get to reap from what you sow with that. Have a beautiful day and I will see you tomorrow.